Hello people, what's up? I'm back with another video and this is going to be about my art tools. So let's get started and first on we have my pencil which I used for my drawings every time and that is a gift that I got from my friend. It's a pure cardin, oh my god the focus. Yeah, it's a pure cardin quick pencil, mechanical pencil. It uh, It's actually very nice, it has a nice lid. And it has a eraser at its back uh, with a cap. I don't know why they gave a cap with it, but because of the look maybe. So it has a very nice click and it, ha it came with some nibs as every mechanical pencil does. Mm, it's a 0.5mm uh, one I think. And I'm pretty satisfied with it. So now uh, I'll, draw, I'll just draw some random lines for you. So here I start. So, uh, so you don't want to push it too hard because obviously if you push it too hard, oh my god the focus, if you obviously push it too hard it'll break, but moderately hard is pretty awesome so you can say, you can see how the shade comes up and it has a pretty nice grip too. So overall this pencil is just too awesome. And so, it again, it has a very nice click, it's awesome. So, uh, let me just put this aside. And next up, we have our brush, which we, which I use. Um, it's a Kokoyu Camlin. Let me set the focus. It's a Kokoyu Camlin S52 poster color brush. I use it for inking. Sometimes I haven't actually inked for a long time till now. Let me just put some ink on it. Wait a second. The ink bottle is actually in tight. So yeah, uh, here I have my paintbrush, it's inked and it has a very fine tip which helps me draw fine lines. So you can draw fine lines like this, maybe it's, so you can just, okay just draw some uh, as big lines as this or as thin lines as that. So uh, this is a pretty nice tool for inking, uh, pretty moderate thick lines can be made like this a thin line like this and you can also use it for some kind of uh, uh, effects like this one some feather or grass effects or maybe stones or something like that so uh, that's it for this brush the next tool we have is uh, my eraser which I use it's an Apsara non-dust so uh, it's a nice eraser because it rubs uh, really clean and all I also use my uh, like waste erasers I don't just throw them away uh, so it does not leave big uh, pieces of that you know rubber left of it's just small small pieces which won't bug you much and can be easily removed and it uh, like wipes off the pencil pretty clean so the next up we have is our pencil sharpener which when I use uh, a normal pencil a wooden pencil I use this sharpener because it makes the pencil have a long tip which helps me drawing, draw in drawing and the next thing we have is our micron pens yes these are the Pigma micron pens which I use usually for inking I have six, dif six different sizes of them weighing from uh, 005 to 08 so I think they are in millimeters like zero 005 milli, 0 0.05 mil, millimeters I think so here is the like they have been labeled on the top on the caps so as you can see six sizes they are from Sakura I ordered them from uh, Amazon and uh, they're pretty new actually so I'm going to actually demonstrate each and every one of them so first on 005 I hope they are millimeters and they have been also labeled on the body and they have a pretty unique and you know professional design I can say so here's the 005 lines uh, pretty thin I hope you can see them they're just too thin uh, mainly used for detailing uh, so here's the 005 on the body it's an archival ink so it will last a long time uh, here's a barcode on the pen so you can buy it individually as well it's, uh, these are very very nice pens for inking and the next stuff we have oh my god 
my camera just shifted okay just wait a second okay now I'm back again actually my camera was so uh, this is the zero two and I zoomed in a little so that you can see better so this was the zero two pen my camera just shifted a bit so I had to, to make it right this is the zero three I'll actually make another video on inking using these tools this is the zero eight yeah I think this is a zero no uh, this was a zero five yeah zero two zero three zero five and this is the zero zero eight so you can see there's a gradual increase in the line width which I like uh, very much with these pens you can use uh, like the thickest one of them for like outlines or panel lines and the others for like I usually use the zero three for um, so this is zero eight and I usually use the zero three for normal lines I use the zero zero five for uh, the detailings and zero eight for main part so next we have is our dip pens so this is my most treasured art tool I used I'm sorry I use so uh, let me just zoom out a bit so that you can see the whole picture so this is a professional comic pen set as it says uh, it's from Coolex. Uh I've also found them on Amazon so this is the biggest size they had uh, so they gave a like total box of five with hold I can exchange the holders and the nibs so this is a Sanji pen as it is called it is usually used for the panel lines and thick lines uh, so that's it for this pen I guess so on the next one is also a Sanji pen but a bit smaller I mean there's a lot of variations you can try with these pens and the next one is the G pen the most awesome pen of them all so then it goes in the well and you can just it reacts on pressure it just you know you press it more it, the more it comes out the thicker the lines you like and this is the mapping pen and the other one the second last one was also a mapping pen used for detailings I'm just going to use the G pen to show you how the line width is uh, changing I guess yeah uh, changing so I'll just zoom out wait a second so yeah I've got the G pen here so um, I'm gonna do is just dip my pen into the okay let's zoom in and dip my pen into the ink I was dipping my pen into the ink so this is the thinnest line this is the thickest line so you see how much variation is there is so I don't get this kind of comfort with the other micron pens because they're fixed they they won't move at all they're not versatile but this pen is versatile and this is a totally awesome pen I I can say like so you see how there's a difference you can just like sift them around you know see how the beautiful that line is and uh, I think that's it for this you know I, I you know the uh, manga characters you can make totally awesome manga uh, hair with these I think it works backward too but it didn't in my case uh, so thick lines and lines as a whole point and make some nice hair with this with a, that stroke thing you know the varying width and all so this is my most favorite tool I mean I've been waiting for this tool for I don't know how much how long and it cost me pretty less I mean 700 I think 700 rupees the whole set and this is a pretty awesome thing I've got here and I really want it so so my next thing is the ink pot that I've got it's a black ink Kure Take ink I think that's how you say it and it's I don't know what the 60 means it is from Zig cartoonist it's a 60 ml bottle there are the barcodes and stuff I don't know there what's driven in Japanese there are, there are some warnings do not water based pigment do not put into eyes wash immediately and I'll contact a doctor so this is a pretty awesome ink it is a waterproof ink it does not spill that well it dries immediately and I use it very much with my pens with my brushes everything so this is a pretty nice tool so that's all for today's video I've got uh, these are my art supplies 
uh, which I've got till now. So I hope you liked it. And I'm Mac from MacTube, and I'm signing out.